Hey guys, Jenny here, coming at you with your oracle messages for today and this week ahead. I hope you all have been having a wonderful weekend. So let's get started. I am using the Angel Tarot deck. So if you would take a moment, center yourself, and allow either one, two, or three to pop into your mind for a message for your highest and best, okay? I'll give you just a moment because I did already uh, pick the three cards. So, okay, let's get started. With number one, we have an eight card here, Justice, Arcane, Ar excuse me, Archangel Ragwell. And so when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing the image um, in reverse, so I can't exactly read <laughs> what's on the card. I apologize. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Also, what really sticks out to me um, in this is balance. So if, well, if you look at this card, you've got the two pillars here, right? Two is generally a symbol for balance. Also, um, a union. Uh, coming together, okay, two different energies, whether it's masculine, feminine, um, you know, you and another person, uh, what, whatever it is, maybe you and your dream finally coming together, whatever it is, okay, so I'm getting a sense of union or unity, uh, things coming together, but like I said, balance, there is um, scales, right, and that's exactly what that means, it's also, I believe, um, the sign of Libra, right? That's the zodiac symbol is the scales, which I believe is perfect because we are in Libra. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, okay, I'm also hearing cutting away the negative. He's holding a sword here. All right, so I feel that what you want to achieve is really close, okay? You don't have to do too much work, but this is where the sword is coming in because you do need to cut away, remove, let go, release, whatever wording you, you know, verbiage you want to use. You need to remove something from your life first in order for whatever it is uh, that you're trying to accomplish to come in. All right. So does that make sense? Um, so to me, it's like if there is something to do with work. Um, maybe there's, maybe there's a promotion that you're going for, or there's a project you want to do, but there's like an obstacle in the way in order for you to do it. So I feel like you already know what you need to do to remove that obstacle. Just go and do it. Cause then you'll get what you'll get that promotion. You'll get that project, whatever it is that much faster. Does that make sense? Um, I'm also hearing in regards to the sword, cut away your negative thoughts. Uh, they're preventing you from moving forward. They're holding you back. And that obviously can relate to anything. But, I mean, don't just basically don't overanalyze. Don't overthink. Yes, I know, easier said than done. Because I am so guilty of overthinking everything and thinking of scenarios in my head that literally will never happen. All right? So I want you to try to just focus on what it is that you want, all right? Because there is this sense of balance coming in for you. There is this sense of fairness, um, respect. I'm hearing respect, uh, equals or equality. So I feel like if you're looking for love, the next person you meet, it's going to feel like he or she is your equal, okay? Maybe they'll contrast, contrast you in some ways or they'll be like you in the opposite form. Okay, so to me, there is a sense of, I'm, I want to say more equal versus equality. I don't know, that word is just popping into my head, but they basically mean the same thing. Equals coming in for you, creating a lot of balance, okay? So keep that in mind. Just focus on your mindset. Okay, moving on to number two, we have here six of water. And I'm sorry for the glare because there is just, Always a glare. I can never get the lighting right. Memories from your history or childhood. Issues regarding children. Romanticizing the past. So the wording, I feel like, seems kind of, eh. Okay, let's be serious. However, what I'm looking, okay, so I'm going to show this and hopefully there's not much of a glare. You have a little little guy up here with a little one down here. And especially this little one down here, it looks like she's having a whole lot of fun. 
that's where it says issues regarding children that's where that comes in and i feel like it's not even so much children or your children it's your inner child waiting to come out and i want to say waiting because they're sort of standing there with their hands to their chest and they're like tapping their foot on the ground okay I feel like they are legit waiting to come out and play the other four letter word, right? Because we all love the other one, work, right? So you need to involve playtime into your life. This is a very, very strong smack in your face type of message. Also, what I'm hearing, doing work that feels like play. So think back to your childhood. Okay, this is about romanticizing the past and um, thinking of um, childhood memories, right? Think of your childhood and think about what it was that made you happy. Whatever it was, it, it, it could have been playing outside, it, it could have been writing, it could be um, making jewelry, I don't care what it is, playing with your Legos. To me, one, the act of doing that will actually bring a sense of calm to your life. Excuse me, bring a sense of calm to your life. Um, but I'm but the word work is mixed into that. So to me, it's like if you've been looking for another line of work or something else that you've been wanting to do, then do whatever that was that made you kid-like happy, made you giddy and giggly, okay? Because that is going to bring you a lot of healing. That's actually the first word I get with it, a lot of healing. I am also seeing the word protection in my mind. So to me, though, it's more of a sense that like you're safe to do whatever it is you want to do, okay? Don't think it's silly or that you're not gonna be able to accomplish anything. No, to me, it's like you're protected in that sense. You're safe to go and do whatever it is you want to do. Um, so healing, protection. Also though, uh, love, which love comes in many forms, okay? And I feel like you're gonna love what you do. Um, it won't feel like work because it'll feel more like play. Um, and lastly, prosperity. And for all I know, it's gonna come, in, it's gonna come to you in that order. Either way though, if you chose number two, this is saying, you know, take some time, sit by yourself, whatever, and reminisce and think about who you were as a kid and get back to that sense of wonder, of innocence, of fun and happiness, because that's going to make your present day life better. And especially in regards to work. Okay. So I really, really want you to take some time this week to do that promise it'll be good. All right, last card, number three, we have here a number 18 card, the moon with Archangel Haniel. And it says on the bottom, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So two things with this, specifically important psychic insights. So Pay attention to your gut instincts, your dreams, your vibes, your feelings, what, your spidey senses, whatever it is you want to um, call it. Pay attention because I feel like right now they are at an all-time high. Granted, we are coming up to Halloween, right? They say that this is this is one of two times. The other time is actually around May 1st. Um, one of two times that the veil is thinner between the outer world and this world, okay? And whether or not you believe it, it's, it, it doesn't really matter. Now is a good time anyway to focus on your, your intuition and really specifically your dreams. I mean, I know I've been having some crazy dreams lately, can't really put it all together right now, and that's fine. Um, but I also, I'm looking at this, so one, I see this little dog over here, so I feel like you're, I'm, okay, I'm hearing the words guardian angel and friend. So if you've lost someone, um, whether it was a friend, family member, it doesn't matter. If you've lost someone and you've been thinking of them lately, uh, don't be surprised. They've been getting the message, okay? They get our messages very easily, just a little harder on our end. Um, if they've been leaving messages to you, whether it's specific songs on the radio, um, or you keep hearing a specific phrase that you know relates to them, whatever it is, just know that they're around you, they hear you, and, and, and they're trying to communicate with you, obviously, as best as they can. But I'll also, I'm looking at this, and if you're looking at her, she sort of looks a little bound up. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm like holding it really close. It might be blurry. But she looks a little bound up. Um, 
not completely, obviously, because she's still able to move. But I feel that this is saying that um, you need to release something to allow um, a sense of re uh, relief. That's honestly what I'm picking up. That sense of relief. You need to, whatever it is, I don't, I don't care if it's actual physical items you need to remove, like from your home. Um, you know, decluttering, that, that allows some great new energy to come in, let me tell you. And I try to do that multiple times during the year. Um, getting rid of old clothes or literally getting rid of nasty thoughts in your mind. Whatever it is, I'm getting a sense of removing something so that the new can come in. Okay, whatever it is that you want to come in, you're thinking about it enough that you're, you're powerful enough to literally conspire with the universe to make it happen. It's just you have to let go of something first in order to do that. I feel like that's a little bit uh, the same message that I said for number one, right? But it doesn't matter. It's you need to remove something in order for something great and awesome to come in. I want to see if I just get anything else. Lastly, events behind the scenes. Um, don't worry about how things unfold. Focus on the goal. Focus on the end game. Don't focus on the steps to get there. Let the universe work that shit out. Okay, that's the events behind the scenes. Things that have to play out in the energetic realm in order for whatever it is you want to actually come in and happen. You can't control everything. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You can't control everything, so just let go. It will happen, I promise you. Okay. All right, that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoy these messages. Please pass it on to others, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.